particular skill is fitting uh, for a helmet. Uh, again, the, the techniques that we show here are fairly universal for uh, any different sport that uh, requires the use of a helmet. Here we're going to actually use the football helmet um, as a guide because it's generally the uh, primary um, uh, sport that requires um, all the equipment intensive um, activities. Uh, before you put the football helmet on, one thing that I always recommend is to always fit a football helmet in conjunction with the shoulder pads. The reason for that is that when they move the shoulder pads, if the pads kind of crimp up too far, uh, they can butt up against the shoulder, the helmet, and that can create an issue. So in a previous video, we demonstrated how to actually properly fit the shoulder pads. So they're all set and ready to go. And now we're ready to do the helmet. A couple things before we inspect the helmet, uh, or before we fit the helmet, is to do a quick inspection of it. Uh, a couple things that we want to be looking for is making sure that it's got the warning label on here, as well as the uh, Noxie symbol or um, emblem on here. And that's going to make sure that the helmet they're actually using was uh, standardized and was meets the certification of Noxy, uh, which, which means that it's been tested, that it's not gonna create and cause damage for the athlete that's actually wearing it. However, the warning label always dictates that doesn't matter what type of helmet that you use, it's not gonna guarantee or prevent all injuries from occurring. So that's helpful and important for the athlete to be able to see and know that. Uh, generally, football helmets comes, come in different sizes of small, medium, large, and extra large. And so you want to make sure that you find one that appropriately fits uh, the individual. Uh, you can measure the circumference of their head and that gives you a guide. Uh, but many times because the different companies have different sizes of helmets, it's always helpful just to have the athlete try on uh, different ones just to see which one feels the most secure and snug. Uh, we want it to be snug, secure, but not too tight. Uh, so this particular individual has uh, tried on and tested a medium helmet. So that's one we're gonna just confirm and fits uh, and works appropriately. So the athlete's gonna place the helmet on. Then we wanna make sure is that we have the chin strap secure before we do our uh, uh, fit assessment, just because we wanna make sure that we're mimicking as many game-like situations as we possibly can. Once the helmet is on, we want to check a couple of key uh, points. One thing that we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the helmet is not too high up on the head. So we wanna make sure that there's at least two finger widths uh, or about an inch between the top of the helmet and where it comes down in the bridge of the nose. That's to prevent if, they have, if the helmet comes down, it doesn't hit the nose and break the nose. If the helmet is too high, there's actually um, a bladder in here that you can actually either fill up with air or take air out of that will raise and lower within probably about a quarter to a half an inch. And so if we felt like we needed to lower it, um, we certainly could do that. The thing that we wanna do is we wanna check the distance of the face mask from the point of the nose should be about three finger widths away or about two inches. So that way if the, anybody hits in the front of the, the face mask, it doesn't hit the nose. If he turns to the side, another thing that we wanna check is we wanna make, check, check, make sure that the ear holes line up approximately with the ears. We don't want them to be either too high or too low, too forward or too back. If we look in here, uh, this looks fairly, um, fairly appropriate and good. And then what we wanna do is we wanna check and make sure that the helmet comes to the very back of the, um, kind of the base of the skull or the occipital bone. Um, here it looks like it's fairly secure, fairly, it comes down far enough. So we want to, it seems like it's um, a good secure fit. Now what we want to do is we just want to make sure that it doesn't move around. Uh, we can actually add air in a couple different places to make sure that it's more uh, very secure. So one of the things that we want to do is we'll just grab onto the face mask. We'll have him try to tilt his head up and down and then left and then right. We don't want any sliding to go on. If there's gaps in between the cheek pads and where the cheek is, there will be separation that will happen there. That's not necessarily a good thing. We wanna make sure that the cheek pads are nice and secure. We could add air to the cheek pads if we need be to make sure that the uh, shoulder pads or the helmet you know, fits a lot more securely. We also wanna to check to make sure that the helmet doesn't restrict um, with the shoulder pads. So we're just gonna have him bring his arms up, bring his arms down, and we don't want the shoulder pads to kind of rise and move up too much and bump and um, um, interact with the helmet. Here we look like we're both of them are good and secure and all set and ready to uh, 
I'm not ready to go out and play.